is Diana Isaacs. I'm a diabetes care and education specialist at the Cleveland Clinic Diabetes Center. And today I wanna to talk about what you need for telehealth or virtual visits. So I'm actually talking to you here from my office where I do lots of virtual visits. Um, the first thing you really need is some kind of platform to connect with your patients. And so we use American Well, but we've recently expanded to other things like Skype, um, Teams, and even FaceTime with our Cleveland Clinic iPhones. So it's great because it really allows you to do it from anywhere. It doesn't have to necessarily be an office. Um, you do need either a webcam or some way a lot of people now with smartphones can connect with the cameras. And then in terms of thinking about what other things you might need, so it's a lot of the similar things you would have in a face-to-face -face visit. So it probably looks like a huge mess here, but I have a lot of the tools that I would use in my visits with people. For starters on the screen here, I have uh, a CGM uh, report because a lot of times I'm going through these downloads with people. Um, it's great if you can get people to download in advance and send them information on how to do that. And then we can talk about that data together and even look at it together. Um, depending on the needs of the person, you know, if it's an insulin pump, I've got my demo devices here. We can go through it together, uh, press buttons together, talk about how to make changes. I've even got, you know, different kinds of sensors here. Um, I've got different types of CGMs, so we can even go through a full training on how to get started with a different type of CGM device. We've got all of them <laughs> right here and we can go through on how to insert them and everything so there's a lot that we really can do depending on the needs of the person thanks to my dietitian colleagues because um, my background is I'm a pharmacist I've got some great food model types of things if we need to go over serving sizes um, and you know some different types of carbohydrate counting tools and everything and then what about you know injection technique with a video we can do that too so I love my little thing. We can put it and show that you can go in many different holes, many different spots, and even have my different types of pens here, and we can go through that together, putting the needle on and how to um, properly inject that and everything. So really, lots of different things that we can do, and it's just all about having what you need ready, and then you can connect with the person through that video, and this allows for very convenient follow-up, where a person's not having to drive and park and pay for gas money and stuff. So hopefully some of these ideas helped you today, and um, thank you so much for listening.